Hey gang, Scott Davenport here, and I've got a tip for you on how to cleanly remove power lines using on one photo raw. Before I show you the tip, I want to take a quick moment to thank all the members on Patreon for your support. It's support from members like you that make videos like this possible. Now, let's take a look at this photo here. I've got these power lines that run through what's otherwise a really, really nice scene. And now power lines are, are pretty easy to remove. And the instinct would be grab the perfect eraser, drag it across the power line, and it magically goes away. Uh, and there's some artifacts that can result if we do that. So uh, let me show you what I mean here. Let's, um, let's zoom in on this section over here. And I'll hit the Q key, get my perfect eraser, size it down. Let's just do this first piece here. If I do something like this. Didn't work out too well, right? Part of the challenge is that the algorithms are looking for other things around the pixels you're touching, and it's picking up other power lines. I have a set of three here. Let me undo that and try, you know, a smaller section with a smaller brush, and maybe I would just try this piece here. That's better, although it's still leaving me a few artifacts. So the approach that I like to use with this is divide and conquer. And I'll look for sweeps of the land or whatever's behind the power line I'm trying to remove, break it into segments, and then deal with each of the segments individually. Let me show you how this works here. So let me zoom back out for a second. And what I'm looking at is, let's just concentrate on this top line, where I see like a sweep of the land curves through here, then there's a transition from you know, like a mid-ground hill to a background hill. There's this little spike here. And as we get over to the left, there's some changes in the topography of the you know, rock versus grass and this little waterfall. So I'm looking at all of those as different segments of this power line. Focusing back in over here, let's bring that over there. I'll use the stamp tool. So first in the retouch area, I've got clone and stamp. I'll choose that. Now the way clone and stamp works is I will sample a portion of the image and then copy the pixels. So I want to maintain like this sweep of this land here. And so right about here looks like a good sample point. I'm doing alt or option to get a little swatch of pixels and then just kind of drop that and wiggle it across. And actually while I'm here, I can do the other segments as well. I can sample here and get this power line broken up a little bit. I'll sample again and get this power line broken up a little bit. Now if I switch back to the perfect eraser and I focus on just these segments, I should get a much, much cleaner result. It's a lot better. I'm going to show you one other trick to make it even better than that. I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to, I'm going to Command or Control Plus. And now I'm zooming in if I open up the, the browser here. I was at 100% before. Command or Control Plus, I'm now like at basically 200%. And so I'm over pixelated right now. But what let, lets me do is make the brush very, very narrow. I can even see a little bit of my artifact in my clone, and I can just concentrate on this little ridge of pixels and my brush being nice and narrow as long as I keep it over that power line, make sure I've got enough pixels on that. There we go. That's really nice and smooth. And remember, I'm zoomed in at 200% right now, so go back out to 100%. That looks great. Now repeat this throughout the scene, you know, breaking the line into a few segments using clone stamp and then using the perfect eraser to do the content aware fill to get everything uh, you know, covered up. So this is one of the techniques that I talk about in a course I partnered with on one, uh, removing distractions and retouching. It's on their storefront and it's I think it's like 25 bucks, so it's a pretty good deal. If you're in on one plus, you've already got this course, so go look for it. Uh, I'm gonna go finish off this photo and uh, then I'll show you the results of uh, the power lines being gone. So the retouching's all done now. That took me about maybe seven minutes. I did divide uh, those lines up into small segments and the results look really good. It's nice and clean. I go in at 100%. 
and I can't pick out where these lines exactly were. I know they kind of went through up in this upper area, <laughs> somewhere through there. I know a couple cut across this ridge line, but the point being dividing, conquering, and segmenting those power lines into smaller pieces. Use the clone stamp tool to maintain you know, the, the things that are behind the object you're trying to remove. In my case, it's ridges of land. Uh, it could be something else in your case, you know, a, a building or whatnot. Find those edges, rebuild those edges, and maintain those edges with clone and stamp and then use the perfect eraser to clean up the rest. Hope you found the video enjoyable. My name is Scott Davenport. Thanks for watching.